Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of my playthrough of Nancy Drew, A Shadow at the Water's Edge. In the previous video, we came here to the RioCon for the very first time, and uh, we learned some stuff. I recommend watching that video if you haven't seen this one already, or haven't seen that one already. Um, anyway, we can now have use our phrase book to translate this and see that the train is this way. We can train. No parking. Kyoto. No smoking. I can't get on the train. You can't get on the train without a ticket, Nancy. That's unfortunate. Where would I? Oh, um, probably the room. It said you're supposed to buy your train tickets before you come to the uh, locked the hotel. Okay, okay, okay. Before you come to the hotel. So maybe we did that? That's not a train ticket. That's not a train ticket. Uh, there's no train tickets in here. So maybe... How do I turn around? Flip. In here? Do you see a train ticket? Okay. So if I were a train ticket then... Where would I hide? Um, okay. So it looks like our first task is going to be to find a train ticket, unless Nancy, maybe. Please be oh. careful. There's too I didn't much mean Miwako. Glass. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, actually, I came to talk to you. Do Hi. you have? Uh. Oh, okay. I'll let you get back so to work. So I can't ask okay, her about ya. train tickets. So maybe. Let's go meet Rentaro. He's out here in the garden. That's where he told us he would be. Okay. He's out here in the garden. That's where he told us he would be. And now we can Hi chat again. with him. I'm Rentaro. Hello, Rentaro. It's nice to meet you, officially. So, um, you're still here. That's surprising. I'm what do you Nancy. mean? What do you mean, surprising? That's four what do you mean? Did I say that? Whoops. <laughs> four. So, you're American. From New York City? No, a place called River Heights. It's in... Oh, okay. <laughs> That's one of the he places I always wanted to go. I mean, you'd have to be crazy to live there. But on the other hand, you'd have to be crazy not to live there. It's one of those, um, uh, unwinnables. Sure. Do you work here? Technically, it's a complicated thing we've got going on. I'm sort of like the handyman around here. So, should I bother getting to know you, or are you going to be like all of the rest? I don't care what the deal is. If Nancy's gonna leave or if she's not gonna leave. Granted, we don't know why they're leaving yet, but we know people are leaving in big numbers. You shouldn't get to know your hotel guests like that personally, right? Maybe it's a Ryokan thing, but I feel like there's a barrier, you know? What do all of the rest do? Get spooked in the middle of the night? Pack their bags and never come back? Even the ones who come to see the ghosts? <gasps> I shouldn't be Oh yeah, the, the Ryokan taunted. Oh, well, That's the dealio. Did. If you see Takaido, this conversation never happened. Ghosts? What ghosts? So, with the at, at the risk of, of dumbing it down, um, when the portrait fell in the beginning of the game, uh, Takai thought it was a ghost knocking it over to warn Nancy to stay away or something like that. We got one of those um, haunted hotspot guides, so we get a lot of ghost hunters here. <gasps> And that's always a treat, because they're totally not obnoxious. <laughs> so, people think good. this place like is haunted? Well, some people think this place is haunted. Kind of like some people think the moon landing was faked, and some people like adult contemporary. What is adult contemporary? Don't be one of those people. You like puzzles? I guess you could say that. I figured, you're going to love this. It's called a nanogram. Okay, hold up. I'm sorry. Wait. I googled what adult contemporary is, and it's a musical style. Okay. Popular in the 60s and 70s. Soft rock to predominantly ballad heavy- I like that stuff. <laughs> the examples they give, okay. The examples they give, Elton John, Mariah Carey, Adele, Michael Buble, Celine Dion, Lionel Richie. Those are all musicians I like. That's ridiculous, Rentaro. We're not friends anymore. We're not friends that it's just another example of how awesome numbers are letters are cool and all but they just make words i mean get with the game letters numbers on the other hand get a few handfuls of those and you can make a bridge or send a person into space or express the makeup of our genetic code or, or they can, they can make, make a, a neat, neat picture. picture i remember that line okay take a look in here 
All you need to do is look this over and finish the pattern. And when you're done, picture! Here, take this. Give it a shot. Bring it back when you're done, and I'll give you something better. Sure. All right, so I know what nonograms are. I don't remember renograms, and I know Sudoku. And there are instructions inside in case you get stuck. All right, um, can you tell me anything about Takai? Can you tell me anything about Takai? That's the old lady, or older lady. Tough, but she's really wonderful. She works herself way too hard, though. I wish I could get her to just relax a little. But you can't tell her to do anything unless you want a lecture back in return. I take it you've been lectured by Takai before. I pretty much grew up here, and believe it or not, I was not always the saint you see standing before you. So, I've been on the sad end of a lecture or two. That's a tragedy. But I've overheard more. Always hilarious when they're not directed at you. So I would ask about Miwako and, and Suki, um, but basically Rentro got Miwako, Suki, and now they're dating. What are you building there? Oh, That's the deal. This. This is the Rentaro 4000. I saw that got inspired by Suki. What's it going to be? A robotic dog. Or maybe just a robotic dog's leg. I'll be honest, I had no idea how long these things take to build. But then again, a dog's leg is not a good gift without the rest of the dog. So the borders on creepy come to think of it. 100%. Is it going to be a gift for Miwako? Oh, definitely. She's my robotic muse. But she's not robotic. Not that you'd think she is. <sighs> and this is why I work with machines. They're totally oblivious to awkwardness. All right, bye. I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Okay, so he is our puzzle provider. Right now we can only open to nonograms, and these are the instructions. Basically, they are. Oh shoot, hold on. If you ever play picked a uh, pick, no, it's not called picked. Oh, pick pick cross or p cross. This is what this is. All right, so you see, like this for example, there's a tent. So that means all of these get filled. Okay, well, I didn't mean to clear it. I cleared it on accident. All right, boom. So there we go. That's a 10. This one is just a 1. Okay, so that means there's going to be like that or something, and that's it. All right, so this is 3 with a 3 space. So 3 with a 3 space. Although that would make this column 4. So see, this is 4, so that means that's done. So that has to go there. The 1 has to be there then. And if this is 8, then this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That goes right there. That goes to there. Is that it? This is four, two, six. This has eight. I did it. It's a heart. Okay, so you see how that works? See, the number here on the sides of the top is how many colored boxes there are. And um, you have to go from there. So now we can back out of this and tell him to turn the page for us. We finished the nonograms. I finished the nonograms puzzle. Awesome. Nice job. What do you think? They're pretty easy. I loved I it. I loved it. I've got something better. You know it, you love it. The original Sudoku. So originally the Sudokus is why I quit the video game because I was a very young child and I didn't know how to do them. Um, but recently I've actually done Sudokus as a pastime. Oh, I played so that I've, before. So I 100% know how to great, play them. Great, I've got some good ones. We'll try and run here. through one of them here really quickly. Go. Bring it back and then if you want more. See if we can get access to something a little more important. I'm back for more nonograms. So you want more nonograms. Here you go. All right, so he gives us access to turning the page on the go. nonograms. I'll talk to you later. All right. Peace out. Cool. So let's do a quick Sudoku. Um, yes, we know how to play. I don't know why the music gets so intense here. All right, so where should we start? Let's start with this column, okay? So we need a one. A one can go here or here or this one right here. It can't go in that one, actually. So one can go here. So we have one. Now we need a two. The two has to go here because you can't have, you have to have a one through nine in a box and one through nine in a line. All right, so we have one, two, three. We need a four. The four has to go here, which leaves us with five is here. So we need six and seven, which means this one is seven. That one is six. All right, so we have that because you compare the lines and the lines and the boxes. So then we can probably finish off this one here now. We have one, two, we need a three. So the three has to either go here or here. So the other thing we need is a four. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven. So a three either goes here or here. 
and then we need a four as well and a seven so I will temporarily put the seven there I don't recommend filling out these squares first I recommend going line by line but you know I'm crazy so actually I am going to erase those uh, I'll start here so we have one two now we need a three the three has to go in this box somewhere and it has to go here because there's a three in this line already so we have one two three four now we need a five five can't go here but it can go here so that's where the five goes six <laughs> seven goes here and then that means that that's the nine so I can fill in this because this is one two three four five this has to be a six which means that I need a one to go in somewhere in here it can either go in this one or in this one uh, so I'll put the one here temporarily which leaves us one two three four five six seven I need eight and nine which again can go anywhere so I will hold off on that one two let's get out our three tool the three has to go in one of these so we'll put it here for now one two three now we need our four which the four has to go somewhere here <laughs> one two three four five six now we need our seven which can go here can't go there so we'll put the seven there and move the four to here all right so we need eight and nine now eight and nine so i'll temporarily put the eight there and the nine there so now we can almost fill out this section. We have one, two, three, four, five. We need a six, which has to go here. Seven and a nine. Nine has to go there. Okay, great. We are doing Sudoku. <laughs> Isn't this riveting gameplay, guys? This is why I told this is why I quit the game. There's literally so many Sudoku you have to do. It's ridiculous. You can spend so much time. My best record for Sudoku is like four minutes or something on the New York Times easy setting. Um, so that's that's great. Let's put a two somewhere. We need a two to go either here, here, or here. So we have one, two, three, four. We need a five now. A five can't go here, but a five could go here or here. Which leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need an eight and I need a nine. So this one has to be the nine because there's already a nine here. And that leaves this to be the eight. Great. And now we can fill this line here. We need a one. One has to go here. One, two, three, four. We need a five, which has to go in here. And a six, which has to go here. And the last one's an eight, which needs to go there, but it can't go there. So that means, that means that I need to change this. What if this is a nine? And then this is a five, but that's not a five. Why is that not a five? Because this is a five right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so then this is one, two, three, four, five. I need my six back. None of that can be a six. None of these can be a six. So these can't be a six. So one of these has to be a six. So what if, oh, but I need my five. Okay, you see the problem with these? That has to be a six. So then this would be one, and my two would have to go here. One, two, three, four. This has to, I can't be a five. This 100% has to be a five. No doubt in my mind. That's 100% a five. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six can't go there. So that means this column is messed up somewhere. Basically is what I'm what I've gathered because I need a six a one two three four five six seven and an eight okay I need a six and an eight that can't be an eight be okay this has to be an eight because there's an eight in this line but there's also a six in this line which means that there needs to be a six in this row somewhere and that six would have to be here but then or here no the six can't be there it's so okay see this has a five a six and a one which means that this column is all messed up okay i don't know why the music is getting so intense i hate it when it does this it doesn't have any sort of logic at all so it'll just get really loud for no reason okay let's keep going on a separate column now 
I don't have to, I'm gonna have to fix that later, so I'll just fill it in later. So there's one, two, three, I need a four, a four can go here, one, two, three, four, and this needs to be a five. Okay, which means that can't be a five. What else can be a five? That can't be a five, this can't be a five, that has to be a five, which makes this top row incorrect. So let's try filling out that top row again. A five can be here. That's where the only place a five can be because there's a five in this column, a five in this column, and now one in this column. It can also be there though. No, it can't because that's already there. Okay, so let's try again then. One, two, a two needs to go in this column or in this column. I'll put it in there temporarily, which leaves one, two, three. A four has to go over here or over here. The other one needs to be a four. One, two, three, four, five. Now I need a six. That's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need eight and nine. This has to be eight. That has to be nine. Okay. Which means if I need a one, it has to go in this row. If I need a two, it has to go here. One, two, three, four, five. If I need a six and a seven, six has to go here. Seven has to go there, which means this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This has to be an eight, and this needs to be a four then. You see how we're starting to kind of correct the mistake that we had, and we can continue working. So let's fill in this row then. We need to put a one in, and the one can either go here. It has to go there, actually, because there's already one in this row. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's put our seven. Our seven is a problem. There's no place for us to put a seven because we have we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to put a seven. But there's a seven in this row and a seven in this row, which means that this needs to be a seven because there's no seven here, which leaves our one stranded unless it goes here and this column is messed up. Um, so I will erase this column then. And, well, actually, I can probably leave this down. Actually, you know what? Whatever. We'll just, we'll fill in this area now. Okay, so boom. If we had a two, the two would have to go here. Can't go there. It would have to go... Oh, I see the two is also messed up here. Which probably means... What does that mean? Let's just keep it for now. Oh, no. The two is already here. That was just a missed sight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need an eight. No, what do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five six seven we need an eight yes eight has to go there okay what's conflicting with that eight is there an eight in the same column or the same row or the same oh it's just because i have it selected that's what the problem is okay one so that means we need a two the two has to go let's erase this column okay that means the two has to go here which is one two three four there's two fours okay so let's erase that I can't believe I didn't notice that. So then let's put our four here. One, which means that that's a two, which means that's a way, which is one, two, three, four. We need a five, five has to go here. And also a six, the six goes here. And now let's contribute to this row, which puts a two either here or here. I'll put it there. What's the other number? We have one, two, there needs to be a three. Put the three there. All right. Wonderful. We are doing something. Let's finish this top again. One, two, three, four, five. It needs to be a six, which leaves this to be one, two, three, four, five. So this has to be a seven, which makes sense. Um, let's do this up and down now. There's already a one in this row. And so one could either go here or here. I'll leave that for now. The next thing would be a two. There's already a two here. There is not a two here. There is not a two here. Next thing would be three, four, five, a six. A six has to go here, which means that this is a two. Oh boy, are we having fun yet? <laughs> are we having fun watching me play with numbers? This is why I, I don't like numbers probably one goes here or one goes here no one doesn't go there one literally has to go here 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need an eight and a nine. That's the nine. That's the eight, which means that this is one, two. I need a three. Three can go here. I need a four. Four can go here. And I need a one, two, three, four. I need a five. Five can't go there. I already have a five, sorry, six. Does that need to be a seven? It needs to be a seven. All right. Um, so then let's do this right here. We have one, we need a two. Two can go right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one's an eight, and that leaves there needs to be a one, either here or here. Oh, I'm out of ones. I placed too many ones. Okay, whatever. We need a one, two, three, a one, a four, and a five. A one, a four, and a five. So, this has to be the one. The four can go either here or here. A one, a four, and a five. That can be the four. That's the five. Okay, we have our last column here. One, two, this has to be a three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This has to be an eight. That has to, okay, no. That's a nine. That's an eight. That's a six. That's a four. I did it. Oh boy. Don't we feel accomplished? All right, let's look at the heart. We accomplished the heart. Hey. Uh, I'm telling him to finish up the Sudoku, the Sudoku so he can give us another Way one. To go. I loved so, it. What do you think? Actually, it wasn't really it's my thing. It's not really my thing. I don't do Sudoku anymore. I'm retired. I have to keep an eye on you, Nancy. You're trying to get me all wound up. No, I'm not up. trying to get you wound up. Not a big fan. That was a lengthy Sudoku I've puzzle. Got one last I think I sped through some of that. Show you. This okay. is one of my favorites. Renogram. Renograms. It's all about creating an unbroken right. string of numbers. Tell me what you think when you're done. Thanks. Here you go. All right, we have another puzzle now. Uh, I'll goodbye. talk to you later. Catch you around. All right, I can only imagine how long I had to do that for. Okay, so this is like one. Okay, so that means that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Uh, that's not good. So, wait, give me that back. Where are we? So we're 21, 22, and that's not, no. Give me that back. So this is 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 20. That doesn't work either. Because that traps us. So how do we get not trapped in the corner? That doesn't make sense. Okay. So if that's 28, then that has to be 27, which leaves that to be 29. That's be 30, 31, 32, 33, 35. Okay. So that has to be 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, perfect. Okay. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Hmm. Huh. Oh, that's to get to... Okay, that makes sense. What number am I on? 41. 42, 43, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, I 56. Alright, and there's our renogram. Yeah, it was a renogram. You know, Hi. back in the day, I thought I renograms... renograms because he was right. Rentaro. I knew you would. Don't tell the other puzzles, Okay. this is my favorite. That's cool, too. Finished I finished up another, another renogram renograms puzzle. I only finished go. one. Thanks. And give me a I Sudoku. I finished the Sudoku puzzle. Here you go. Thanks. All right, perfect. I'll talk to you later. That's plenty Bye. of puzzle. Plenty of puzzle. We now have access to do all of those, so that's what good. Going on? Oh, good I progress. Thank heaven, something besides numbers. The strange sounds on the pounding, on the screaming at all hours of the night, waking up my family, scaring the children half to death. If you ask me, this real can need to be closed down immediately. I'm very sorry. Sorry changes nothing. This is unacceptable. I want my money back, and I want a car sent immediately to take us anywhere else.
All right, so she just left the hotel because she got scared by a something. But that's of no significance to us. What's significant to oh, us? Hello, Nancy San. Is something that different. Guest seemed We're just gonna chat with upset. her for a little bit. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. Trust me, I see a lot at this desk, and one thing never changes: travel is disorienting. It's so very easy to get upset when you're far from home. That's why we try to make things as comfortable as possible. Good. What's been what scaring, has been the, scaring guests the guests away? Oh, nothing. They're not scared. It's something else. Can I help you with anything? Nope. I'll let Bye. you get back to work. Bye. Wait. Hold on. Let Hi. me ask her about Rentaro. I met Rentaro. I could have sworn Who she gives he? us a letter. Oh, Rentaro? He's my boyfriend. Yeah. He's also handyman around here. Have you two Good. been dating long? I'm sorry. I should really get back to my paperwork. But if you have any questions about the Ryokan, please don't hesitate to ask. Okay, goodbye. I'll let you get back to work. Bye. Okay, I could have sworn that she gives us a train ticket. That's not a train ticket. And certainly solving puzzles doesn't get me a train ticket. So I don't know... Let me check Nancy's room one more time. Literally one last time. It's the next room over. Okay, if I were a train ticket, where would I be? Not with the towels. Okay. If I were a train ticket, I would be not there either. Do I set an alarm? Do I have to go to sleep? Hold on. I'm determined to make progress besides just finding a gosh darn... Uh, let's wake up at like 4 in the morning. I'll be teaching You'll be teaching at 4 a.m.? Jeez. Okay, I'm up. I'm awake. Do I have new something? No. I could have sworn... Oh, maybe... I doubt this will do anything. Yeah, I can't even... Okay. Well... I graded the homework. Yeah. Okay. I read student bios. Okay. The music's getting intense. Okay, yes. You write the best teacher ever will miss you. Okay. I have no clue. And it says in here, doesn't it? Get out of here. It says... It is suggested that guests pre-purchase their FSCA train tickets before arriving at the Ryokan. Alright, well I know I need the train ticket to get out of this place. I guess I'm gonna call it an episode. We'll just have done a bunch of number puzzles. That's unfortunate, but I mean, that's the game. So uh, yeah, I guess I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me and you guys from my videos around. I'll catch y'all back here next time for the next episode of my playthrough of Nancy Drew Shadow at the Water's Edge. Until then, as always, take care.